water as long as you can. Keep it on this little bit. So when you guys are out now, but six and eight, both keep them on, keeping that body forward when you drive. Don't open that back at all until the knees are down. Okay, together. Or should not be hitting the water. Both. A little down to port. Stern can help us. Thank you. Still a little down to port. Forward, looks like you might be leaning away from your oar. Is that, is that the case? If so, stay focused. Well, we're a little, a little bit down to the port. That may be why she's leaning. So we're still a little down the port, but oh, okay. behind the wheel. You're down to port, you say? A little bit. Okay, yeah. starboard is who are setting it. Just a little lower on the handle. And two, we're going to add the back. That's one, <laughs> two, add the back. Five, change the angle on your oar so it's less submerged. It'll be easier. Okay. There you go. Yes, okay, so even now, I know you're, this isn't your normal catch, but as you come forward, just a nice light movement. Drop the blade in. Keep it low to the water beforehand so it just goes right in. We're going to focus a lot on catches today. So. A little down the board. Pull in a little bit lower in three Ready. seat. One. Just a little bit lower on your drive. Two, half slide on this one. You're pulling a little bit deep right now, which is why I told you. So just pull a little lower, it should fix the depth for you and it should make your finishes come out cleaner. Keep that core engaged and those shoulders up. Don't throw yourself forward. Balance and keep the chest up. Don't mind the log passing under starboard. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so in two seat right now, your back angle is changing as you come to compression before you drive. You're straightening up, then pushing your legs. So what that means is you're either getting more body angles than you're comfortable with coming forward, or you're just not paying attention to it and opening with your back. So try getting a little less body angle coming forward and keep that body angle the same. Really put those knees down before anything else moves. That's better. That's better. That'll be much better for your back. That's one. Two, slide on this. Okay, as we ease the full slide, catch on your recovery. The boat is set for you now, so it should be easy. Catch so that the second your body hits compression is the same second the oar is in the water. That's better. The further the bow your oar goes in, the more you get out of every bit of muscle you spend. Good, that's better. Are you still down to, looks like starboard now, or is that not true? We go back and forth. We're pretty good right now. Maybe a bit down to starboard. Okay, that's fine. Let's find that timing. There's a little disconnect in um, between four, three, two. We're going to add the feather. Add some more. Two, adding the feather on this one. So in three, you're getting to full compression just before Sarah does. So really slow that down so you arrive at full compression with her. Bow your early by a half blade, maybe a blade. That's better. Good, you're doing better with the body in two seat, that's good. I'm on the rudder, but of course, if you can back up on the point of the water, I'm starting to get a little more. So in three, the same thing I told two earlier, you're, you're moving your body just a little bit as you catch before you drive your legs. You're kind of straightening up. So I advise you to get less body angle coming forward on the recovery so you're in a stronger position. And then hopefully you can stay in that position as the legs drive. So I'm ready to add in another pair. Sure. In two, we're going to add in stern pair. Of course, you're still pulling through lightly. Starboard is pulling us around. That's one. Two, adding in stern pair. Yeah, 
Go ahead into the finger. We got time. Knees first. Everything is legs. Good. That's better, Stroke. Let's square nice and early. We've got a pair out. Let's catch to bow. Catch on your recovery, not your drive. If you think you're about to catch a crab, you're doing it right. And you might catch a crab, but that's fine. you got to find the line. Coxon, we're going to keep it by sixes for a while so everyone can be a little more confident catching further to bow, and then we'll rotate it to eights eventually. Square nice and early. as far as you can and you're not rowing it in. That's better, seven, good change. There's gonna be more wiggling, that's fine. Sit up tall, keep the core engaged. Pull through strong. Coxon, what's your rate, by the way? Tell me in like two strokes once they settle. Yeah, let's get to a 20 or a 22. There you go. Great. All right, now the rate's higher. I want you to focus on catching to bow. Square early, little move, drop that blade in nice and light. Find that timing. Three C, you're early by two blades. That's better.
to do this piece until you pass the boathouse, so stay engaged. Good catch, that was a good catch, all the way to bow. Eight, drop it in sooner, better. Knees first, stroke, knees first. You're opening that back and you're using your back to catch. That's better. All right, two and four, I need you guys to establish Handle Filming now. Don't forget what I told you earlier about backing that blade in. Square early, get the blade in the bow. Coxon, call 10, not for power, just so they feel it, okay? Turn four. 